Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. Now, if you're anything like me, you love to see a before and after video. Transformations are so fun to watch, especially when it comes to decluttering. So we're actually gonna queue up some videos right about now from the organizing queen herself. We have Gabby right here from Organizing Beyond Expectations. Hopefully you're able to see some of those before and afters, as well as right now we're standing next to what was once a coat closet and has now been transformed into a cleaning supply closet. So Gabby, I just want you to give us a little bit of background. How did this organizing journey start for you? Because you told me a story about how at six years old, you kind of already knew this was your calling in life. Absolutely. I was six years old when I first organized my mom's uh, kitchen cabinet. Wow. She was a messy person. However, my dad and my grandma, my dad's mom was a really organized and neat person. And one day my mom wasn't home and I tried to help as a six years old unloading the dishwasher and I opened the cabinets out and there was no space. So I took everything out. I didn't know that's my calling at that time. It was just for fun. But looking back 42 years later, this is what I do for a living in the last 21 years. It's incredible because when we think about organizing, it's not just the, the fact that everybody ha everything has its space. You're creating systems for people to maintain it. Because it's one thing to get a makeover of all of your supplies, another thing to be able to upkeep it years later. What is your advice for clients when it comes to maintaining everything once you've been able to transform their space? Absolutely. Um, my encouragement is always unpack it from the original packaging and put it where it belongs. Mm -hmm. Since you have the labels already created by us, just put it back. And um, what I learned so far from our clients, it's a really easy project for them. Yeah, we just heard from the client whose house you're looking at right now. And she was talking about how, you know, once everything has its spot, then it's easier to see when something is out of place, right? So this is the cleaning closet that you've been able to transform. And then we're actually gonna take a look inside the laundry room because oftentimes that's where things get a little crazy, right? The clothes are all over the place. All of a sudden a random stool that uh, is in the corner of the room becomes where the pile just grows and grows. So Gabby, what's your advice for people trying to tackle a laundry room? Decanting and always keep this area clean and neat, right? Because this is the area that we use every single day, even if you have multiple children or bigger families or in just yourself. You use the laundry room getting to the garage, having access to the garage. So I would encourage you to keep it neat and tidy as much as possible. Right. I, I love these dispensers right there. I the, This is too fancy for me. But hey, that's what Gabby does. She transforms the space to make it aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. So organizing beyond expectations, they do decluttering makeovers. You can check out their social media to see even more of those transformation videos. I'm already like, whew, my studio apartment could use some work, but it's great to get ideas from as well. Gabby, thank you so much for joining us. All right. Well, hopefully you're feeling a little bit more organized after getting some of those tips. Courtney's giddy. I'm, t I'm smiling the whole time. Yeah. Just, I'm just happy to see it. Court, I know you're the organizing queen, so Girl. Uh, maybe the wheels are turning right now, yeah. right? The pumps on the soap all facing the same direction. I just <laughs> uh, loved it. Loved it.